Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So I'm gonna show you the Toyota that started it all for me. While I was stationed in Italy, overseas for a few years, I ended up buying through the Military Direct purchase program over there, I forget what, Military Auto Sales, I forget what it's called exactly. But I ended up buying a 2017 Toyota Tacoma Tier D Pro. So this was the first Tier D Pro of this generation here, right? So I mean, this generation came in 2016, with the second gen, the previous gen being uh, 2015 and older, right? Um, so this was brand new. I'd, I'd seen all the hype videos on it. I was super, super excited to get it, and, and it did not disappoint. I remember just absolutely loving it. And this, in Italy, by the way, is a huge vehicle to drive around. So, and even you know, it's just still a very small, mid-sized truck here in the U.S. In Italy, it definitely turned heads because there's not a whole lot of trucks rolling around out there. So this is what started for me. 20, in 2017, I paid I think 44 or 45. You get a little bit of a discount buying through the auto, the military direct pr program over there. Um, but this one here, they had it listed at 46,500 a couple days ago, and I just looked right as I arrived here today. A couple days ago, I spotted it here and I looked. Um, but they have since dropped it. They dropped it to 43,500, which is still pretty insane given the fact that it has 60,000 miles on it and they're wanting 43,500. And, and I say that insane as a, you know, it's a good and bad thing, right? I mean, these have held value extremely well. Um, I remember when I traded mine in for my Raptor, I bought a 2019 Ford Raptor when I returned from overseas and I think I got 38 or 38.5 for my trade value at the time. And I remember being happy about it, uh, but this is a little bit of an extreme example. I mean, I think this should be high 30s given the mileage at this point and the fact that it's a 17. But really, I just wanted to geek out about it and kind of reminisce a little bit and just, I don't know, kind of walk down memory lane with you guys a little bit. This is what started it all for me, and I loved it. The Tier D Pro badge right here. Got a little bit of a what is that a toolbox out back that <laughs> takes up half of the half of the bed and then looks like a little bit of a crossbar set up here. So I love it, of course, and that super white color uh, now referred to as ice cap on the new ones. So these are a single base paint, by the way, for those of you who don't know, and they are a bit more prone to to um, to chipping, unfortunately. Um, Toyota, I think, has addressed it since, and the ice cap is a little bit less prone, to my understanding. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it has been an ongoing issue, and I think Toyota has addressed it. Got that TRD cap back exhaust. That sounds great with the 3.5 liter V6 that we find in it. Um, my only gripe, really, with this, I, it wasn't a gripe for me back then because I didn't know any better, but that is the gear hunting, right? So it does feel like it's hunting for gears pretty often, um, especially compared to the five-speed automatic transmission that we find in the fifth generation 4Runner. Um, that one feels a lot more linear. The power delivery feels linear, a lot more linear in the five-speed compared to the six-speed here. But, you know, it, it still feels great. To nine out of 10 people, you're probably not gonna notice it. But yeah, I remember being pretty nervous about buying this one for the first time just because yeah, I didn't really know too much about Toyota. Yeah, I knew that they tend to hold value pretty well. And you know, the idea of having this in Italy was a pretty cool, pretty cool thing for me. So I loved my ownership of it, happy I bought it. Obviously it started my craze for Toyota in general. I had a couple other older forerunners before that, like late 90s forerunners, but never in new TRD Pro. So I'm excited for the new generation Tacoma that we're seeing. The 2024s are you know, going to be hitting the lots here in a second. And, you know, it's going to be a very different beast. We get the four cylinder now and the turbocharged four cylinder, and you get the iForce Max with the hybrid battery pack connected to it, cranking out pretty impressive numbers. So I'm excited to see what that is all about to get behind the wheel of that new one and really kind of feel it out. So let me know what your thoughts are. Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.